டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலையம்மாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோவில் வண்ணி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் யூ அகைன் இந்த வீடியோ லெக்சர் இந்த சப்ஜெக்ட் தெர்மோடதமிக்ஸ் இன் தமிழ் திஸ் இஸ் லெக்சர் நம்பர் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் டென் சால்விங் ப்ராப்ளம் சால்விங் இன் செகண்ட் லா தெர்மோடதமிக்ஸ் பார்ட் டூ ஃபோர் இதுக்கு முன்னாடி மூணு லெக்சரில் அண்ணா யூனிவர்சிட்டி கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர்லேருந்து செகண்ட் லா தெர்மோடதமிக்ஸில் ப்ராப்ளம் போட்டோம் In the lecture, Leo, we take few more problems in second law of thermodynamics. The learning outcome to the lecture, at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in second law of thermodynamics. So, if you are in the lecture, you are on your own. You have to solve problems in the second law of thermodynamics. Example number 11 from November 2019 question paper, Anna University question paper. A Carnot heat, heat engine works between two temperature sources, 900 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin. It operates a Carnot refrigerator working between two temperatures, 300 Kelvin, 250 Kelvin. So, there is a heat engine, inlet temperature, 900 Kelvin, outlet temperature, 300 Kelvin. There is a refrigerator working between 250 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin. The heat engine supply 50 kJ per second, supplied with 50 kJ per second. So, heat supply to the engine is 50 kJ per second and it is not only operate the refrigerator, but also delivers a power of 10 kW. So, heat engine refrigerator work dry pannudhu, in addition to that, there is additional of excess of 10 kW of work. Number 1, determine the heat transfer to the refrigerant. and the refrigerator and the net heat transfer to the sink and the 300 kelvin so q3 q2 q4 kandupidikino recalculate the above parameter if the actual efficiency of the heat engine and cop of the refrigerator are 50% of the maximum value so idhe mari or problem pona lecture lim potom practice kaga we continue similar type of problem for the heat engine efficiency equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 so 1 minus T2 300, T1 900, so 0.67, 67 percentage. The efficiency is also equal to eta equal to W by Q1. Work done, net to work done by the heat supply. So W equal to eta efficiency into Q1, 0.67 into 50 equal to 33.5 kJ. So Q2, W equal to Q1 minus Q2. So Q2 equal to Q1 minus W. So 50 minus 33.5 equal to 16.5 kJ. So, Q2 equal to 16.5 kJ and the work done equal to 33.5 kJ. Now, work given to the refrigerator. Work produced by the heat engine is 33.5 minus 10 kW of excess work. So, heat work supplied to the refrigerator is 23.5 kJ. COP of the refrigerator. COP equal to T3 by T4 minus T3. So, T3 equal to 250. T4 equal to 300. 250 divided by 300 minus 250 equal to 5. So, COP is also equal to Q3 by W. So, heat extracted divided by the work input. So, heat extracted equal to COP into W. Work done. So, 5 into 23.5 equal to 117.5 kJ. So, Q4 equal to. So, W equal to Q4 minus Q3. So, Q4 equal to Q3 plus W. So, 117.5 plus 23.5 equal to 141 kJ. So, net heat transfer to the reservoir at 300 Kelvin. So, Q2 plus Q4. So, in the 300 Kelvin level of reservoir, what is the net heat, heat transfer? So, this is 16.5 plus 141 equal to 157.5 kJ. So, all the parameter Q3, Q2, Q4, we have calculated for ideal condition. Now, When the efficiency of the heat engine and COP of the refrigerator are each 50 percentage of the maximum value. The same problem, the efficiency of the heat engine, COP of the refrigerator is 50 percentage of the theoretical value. So, actual efficiency of the heat engine, eta equal to 0.5 times of 0.67. 0.67 is equal to 0.5 into 0.67 equal to 0.335. Actual work done by the heat engine, W equal to eta into Q1, 0.335 into 50 equal to 16.615 kJ. Heat rejected by the heat engine, Q2 equal to Q1 minus W, so 50 minus 16.615 equal to 33.325 kJ. 
the work given to the refrigerator. So, work produced by the heat engine 16.675 minus 10. So, 10 kilowatt of work is excess. So, 16.675 minus 10 equal to 6.615 kilojoules work given to the refrigerator. Now, actual COP of the refrigerator 0.5 times of 5. So, 5 is the theoretical COP 0.5 times of 5 equal to 2.5. Now, heat extracted by the refrigerator, Q3 equal to COP into W. So, 2.5 into 6.675 equal to 16.68 kilojoules. Heat rejected by the refrigerator, Q4 equal to Q3 plus W. So, 16.68 plus 6.675 equal to 23.355 kilojoules. So, net heat transfer to the reservoir at 300 Kelvin, 33.325 plus 23.355 equal to 56.68 kilojoules. So, the answer to the problem. For ideal condition, heat transfer to the refrigerant Q3 equal to Q3 equal to 117.5 kilojoules. Heat transfer to the reservoir at 300 Kelvin, 157.5 kilojoules. When the efficiency of the heat engine is 50 percentage, net heat transfer to the engine 16.68 kilojoules. Heat rejected to the uh, heat transfer to the reservoir at 300 Kelvin, 56.68 kilojoules. So, because of the 50 percent efficiency, the Q3, Q2, Q4 values are drastically decreasing. Example number 12 from May 2017 question paper. A heat pump working on Carnot cycle takes in heat from a reservoir 5 degrees Celsius and delivers heat to a reservoir 60 degrees Celsius. The heat pump is driven by a reversible heat engine which takes in heat from your reservoir 840 degrees Celsius and reject heat to your reservoir 60 degrees Celsius. The reversible heat engine also drives a machine that absorbs 30 kilowatts. If the heat pump extracts 17 kilojoules per second from 5 degrees Celsius reservoir, determine rate of heat supply from the 840 degrees Celsius source and rate of heat rejection to 60 degrees Celsius sink. So, in the question on the May 2017 question paper, so the arrangement, the entire problem diagrammatically represents, there is a heat pump working between minus 5 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees Celsius. So, amount of heat given to the heat pump is Q3 equal to 17 kilojoules per second. There is a heat engine which is driving the heat pump. So, here Q1 equal to, uh, T1 equal to 840 degrees Celsius, T2 equal to 60 degrees Celsius. The heat engine Work heat pump kuduttu the poha, meedhi ullla work one the 30 kilowatts. So, idha problem. We have to calculate Q1, Q2, Q4. First given data, T1 equal to 840 degree Celsius which is 1113 Kelvin. T3 equal to 5 degree Celsius, 278 Kelvin. T2 equal to T4 equal to 60 degree Celsius which is 333 Kelvin. Now, this is the again arrangement. Heat pump. COP of the heat pump equal to T4 by T4 minus T3. So, T4 higher temperature divided by the temperature difference. So, 333 divided by 333 minus 278 equal to 6.05. COP is equal to Q4 by Q4 minus Q3. So, heat supplied divided by heat actually heat uh, supply heat rejected. So, heat delivered divided by heat delivered minus heat supplied. So, substituting 6.05 equal to Q4 divided by Q4 minus 17. So, Q3 equal to 17. So, rearranging and calculating 6.05 Q4 minus 6.05 17 equal to Q4. So, 5.05 Q4 equal to 102.85. So, Q4 equal to 102.85 divided by 5.05 equal to 20.36. So, the Q4 equal to 20.36 kilojoules. Now, COP equal to Q4 by W. So, W equal to Q4 by COP. So, 20.36 divided by 6.05. So, W equal to 3.36 kilowatt. So, the work required for the heat pump equal to 3.36 kilowatt. Now, we go to the next slide. So, here again the same arrangement. Now, you take the heat engine. So, the work given to the heat pump is 3.36 kilowatt. So, the excess work is 30 kilowatt. Now, the heat engine produces the work equal to 30 plus 3.36. So, 3.36 is work over there. It is given to the heat pump. 30 kilowatt is available as a excess. It is driving another machine. If W equal to 30 plus 3.36 equal to 33.36 kilowatt. Now, efficiency of the heat engine. 1 minus T2 by T1. So, numerical value substitute. Eta equal to 1 minus 
T3. 333 divided by 1113 equal to 0 0.7. Now, eta is also equal to W by Q1. Work done divided by the heat supplied. So, heat supplied Q1 equal to W by eta. So, 33.36, W by W equal to 33.36 divided by 0 0.7 equal to 47.65 kilowatt. So, Q1 equal to 47.65 kilowatt. So, heat supplied to the heat engine. Now, eta equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1. So, eta equal to 0 0.7, 1 minus Q2 is the unknown, Q1 equal to 47.65. So, Q2 equal to 0 0.3 into 47.65 equal to 14.295 kilojoules. So, Q2 value contributed charge, Q1 value contributed charge, Q3 value, Q4 value already contributed to heat pump. Now, the answer, rate of heat supplied from the 840 degree Celsius source, Q1 equal to 47.65 kilojoules. The rate of heat rejection to the 60 degree Celsius sink, Q4 plus Q2. So, 20.36 plus 14.295 equal to 34.655 kilojoules. The answer to the problem, rate of heat supplied to the 840 degree Celsius source equal to 47.65 kilojoules and rate of heat rejection to the 60 degree sink equal to 34.655 kilojoules per second. So, that is the answer to the problem. We stop here. Thank you for watching. If you have doubt in the WhatsApp number, message I will answer to your question. We will meet again in the next lecture for solving few more additional problems in the second law of thermodynamics. Until then, bye.